Hey, this is Vu, and today I'm going to take a look at holding B on overpass, and specifically, the importance of keeping control of pit, even if your opponents get control of the actual bomb site. I think Liquid is a great example of a team that does this extremely well, and it's actually part of what makes them very good on overpass. So, I'm going to show you a few rounds from Liquid that exemplify this exact idea. So you're going to see on this round here, Liquid has held on to two SMGs, the two umps that they have on the B bomb site, and they've gone aggressive towards mid and towards long earlier on in the round, and NAFs and Connector right now, on that side of the map with the actual guns. Now what this means is Liquid knows they can't hold on the B bomb site, they're just going to be playing for retakes, even though the retakes are a little ways away. So the execute's going to come in from NIP, Stewie2K and Twist are going to do their best to try and contest the bomb site as much as possible, and Twist wants to support his teammate until Stewie goes down, and then he realizes at some point he's not going to be able to find any kills and he's just going to drop right into pit here. Now most of the time you would have the road rotator here would already be in heaven and would be able to prevent the player here, Rez, from dropping into pit directly onto Twist like he does here. However, in this situation, Rez realizes that he needs to try and clear out pit if he can so they can get forward control of the bomb site and have a reasonable after plant situation. He's going to drop right down on Twist, but Twist is going to be able to find the kill. And now you can actually look at the way this map is playing out. You've got three players from NIP that are unable to actually push up further in the bomb site because Twist is in pit, they've got a rotator in heaven, and they can't actually get pushed up control of that bomb site without running into a lot of resistance. You can see Forrest and Dennis are both looking in the same direction, worried about Twist coming up that ramp there, and the flanks from Elige and Naf are going to work dividends because Twist is in pit drawing attention and the players on NIP can't actually get anywhere with pressure from heaven and pressure from pit. And you're going to see how this plays out in a lot of rounds for Liquid. They have the player in pit, they have a rotator in heaven, and the player in pit just draws pressure and the player in heaven or the player in graffiti often can get kills. So on this round you're going to see a textbook example of exactly how much work a pit player can get done simply by staying alive. Twist is only going to be able to find one kill on the round but that's enough and he survives for long enough for the rotate to come in and grab a 3k. So what's happening here is Nip's going for a straight up B rush and they're going to be able to find the kill on Stewie 2k without a real trade. Twist is just going to try and stay alive and he's going to try and find the first kill on the player pushing up quickly in sight where he has a decent advantage. Advantage. That's on Dennis right there. He doesn't want a player rushing up along the left side before he gets a heaven rotate in, so he takes the engagement, and it's an engagement he will generally win. You have Naf has already been rotated into Graffiti, I believe he was here before the rush actually came in, and he's going to prevent people from being able to swing wide on bridge, and he's also going to be able to prevent people from pushing up between the middle of the site and jumping on top of Twist. Now what's going to happen here is Twist is actually going to get mollied, a smoke's going to go down on the molly, and Twist is going to move into the smoke to simply stay alive, while Naf is going to be rotating into heaven. Now if you look at the situation here, NIP isn't looking the wrong direction, they are actually posted up and looking here towards where Naf is, however, this is a situation as a T side that you never want to be in. Get right, as well as res, and Forest are all in the middle of the open trying to fight a player in heaven who's only showing his head. This is not a winning situation, and they would never be in this situation if it wasn't for Twist being alive on ramp here. They would simply be in much better angles, and they would probably already have the bomb planted. So you can see Nas going to get another kill. Twist is even going to die to the molly while he's inside of the smoke, but simply too little too late for an NIP to grab that kill, NAF has already done the work. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why is NIP putting so much pressure on the player pit if they can just plant the bomb and back up? Well the reality is that B site is incredibly easy to retake if you don't have short control and you don't have pit control. And very often Liquid does a good job of having short control on the retake and if they don't get that kill on twists and pit, then they also have pit control and there's very few angles you can play from the back of the bomb site. You, you essentially have default plant spot behind pillar, 
jail and monster and those angles are very easily isolated they can't do very much against a coordinated retake and they're easily flashed off as well so nip understands you need to get pit control and liquid is incredibly good at understanding how to hold pit control long term the final round i'm going to show you here is what can go wrong if you don't have that player survive in pit so what you have here is nip going back late round for a b execute or a semi b execute against twists and Stewie and you're gonna see liquid has a pretty heavy a setup here and the rotates gonna take quite a while Stewie's already found one kill here and the rest of NIP is starting to run out now twist is gonna try and come up throw a flash and support his teammate but unfortunately Stewie goes down and twist get tr gets trapped behind pillar here in the middle of the bomb site and he doesn't think he's going to be able to jump out and get into pit as well as the rotates a little ways away anyways so what happens is he tries to contest from pillar and he's going to get quite a bit of damage done however he's not going to stay alive with pit control and you're going to see res just jump straight into pit and he's going to end up having a great angle on liquid players on the rotate now again res doesn't necessarily get a lot of kills from this position but it changes the way that Liquid has to play the after plan. Naf can't immediately come out graffiti, the player Heaven is going to have to play a lot more worried, and if you've ever tried to op on overpass, you've probably tried to rotate into the B site without pick control, and you understand exactly how hard that can be. There's too many angles for you to clear, you have to look straight down as well, it's incredibly hard to move out from Heaven in this type of situation. The same thing is true from graffiti, it's incredibly hard because there are so many angles to clear now as soon as uh elige goes down here on the flank this round is essentially over there's no real way to clear out all of the angles that res could be playing and while nitro has a pretty decent peak on res he still has the advantage from that position he caught him off guard and naf obviously in the 1v3 you can see he checks 50 different angles here near pit and just ends up being taken down you can see exactly how important pit control is in these situations and why liquid tries to hold on to it and put so much pressure on it. It wins them a lot of rounds, and it's part of why they're so good on this map. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.